like that, bro. Yeah, like, no, for sure. Then, nigga, a couple months ago with that, we had a strip club with 50. Like, yeah. shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. just like, it's the experience of this yeah. shit, bro. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shot. Shot vs. A-Body Podcast, man. You already know what to do, man. Like, subscribe, share that shit, even though y'all motherfuckers don't. Make sure y'all do God, it. God, <laughs> you already know. Go ahead. Good. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on the IG. Shot vs. A-Body underscore podcast. Follow the producer, Lewis 313 And nigga, turn our shit up, man. So I'll be on that whole shit, man. But, uh, dog, we got somebody I ain't seen in a minute, man. We got a lot of questions for this, this young brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He one of the ones that, you know what I'm saying, had me on his platform and shit. You know what I'm saying? Had, even though the other dude who was next to me wasn't really knowing what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but we got uh, the wild boy of the city, man. OC out of control. Yes, One sir. half of Meet the Connect, man. Yes, sir. DJ out here. I think that nigga probably rapped back in the day and shit. I tried. I dibbled and dabbled. <laughs> yeah. What's good with you, bro? Man, shit, man. Chillin', 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 man, it's, chillin', been, it's been a little minute, dog. It's been a long minute, man, for real. And then I'm sick because I seen Spooty up here, and I'm like, damn, I was on the road, and I couldn't mm -hmm. make it. I'm like, fuck. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, we definitely had to make this definitely happen, Definitely had to spin a sure. block, man, for sure. So. But before we start getting everything, dog, we start everything off with a salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away, you know what I'm saying, giving their flowers and shit instead of, you know what I'm saying, giving it to them while he or she can still receive it. Right. But it can't be nobody real close to you. It can't be your parents. I don't know if you're in a relationship, but it can't be that. It can't be no kids. So, got somebody you want to go ahead and shoot some love to? Oh, you said it can't be family. Can't it can be, be family, but it just can't be that close-knit family like your, your mom and dad. Mm, uh, I mean, shit. Damn. <laughs> Y'all should have gave a nigga a little steady guy first. Uh, Duh. I mean, everybody that's just making moves for real, man. Yeah. I, I, I ain't got nobody real specific that I can just think of one person, but for sure. everybody that's just getting up, making something happen, though. Yeah, hell for yeah. Real. Hell yeah. Oh, this episode is sponsored by Frisky. <laughs> That frisky Ooh. whiskey. <laughs> shit a little sweet, man, but I like sweet shit, pause. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of a little, that was a little wild. Though. The bottle cover, the, the bottle bottle, you get a free baby oil bottle with it. <laughs> Just, Some free oil in that motherfucker. Oil up and shit while you drink, dog. <laughs> but shit, man, uh, uh, I'm going to salute somebody real quick, dog. I don't really do it because I didn't salute niggas, but let me salute my dog Lance, man. Yesterday was his uh bir his um baby first birthday. That's mm. my godson, man. Nigga look happy. Had big turnout, man. A lot of motherfuckers came to support and shit, dog. So uh, salute Lance, man. You know what I'm saying? One year old, you know, son, man. Kobe out here, dog. What's up? That's what's up. But shit, man, how your year been, man? Like, man. I feel like, nigga, since the last time I seen you, a lot of shit didn't change for you. Man. We're going to touch on a lot of that shit in between the interview, but just touch That's up cool. a little bit as far as like. How this year been for you, man? What were some goals you had and what was some shit that you still trying to meet? Shit, man. This the year has been crazy for real. Like it's been on a steady like incline for sure, for sure. Like yeah. every time I think I be getting used to this shit or I'm I'm new I'm everything settling in, some other shit happen to blow a nigga mind for real, mm -hmm. dog. And that shit really just Man, my but my goal yeah, what was the goals coming into this my year? Goal, dog? Coming into the year Rolling Loud was the goal. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Well, I okay. Wait, let me back. But last year, Rolling Loud was the goal. But yeah. we did that. This year, it was some type of like it was something bigger than Rolling Loud. I don't know what, but it was gonna be bigger. Then we ended up doing the BT, uh, the BT weekend out in LA. Hell yeah! So that was really one of the ones. Like, damn, we really onto some shit. Right hell now. yeah! Hell you yeah! You feel me? So that's the yeah. So next is. Trying to get the award so For sure. Hell yeah. Like we get to be on um, perform on the B T stage. Like yeah. that's gonna be one of the ones for sure. Who was the chick that you seen that the motherfucking IG don't do her no nigga, she just bad as fuck. Like you seen her IG like she was straight, but in person, it's like nigga, she smell good, look good, nigga, like you just impressed, nigga. Like, famous or regular? Shit, give me somebody famous. That Coco you? Jones. Oh man. nigga. God damn. Like oh she, my <laughs> God. Listen, man. <laughs> The, the 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 man, listen, Coco Jones, like man, I'm talking about, I was fanned out, like yeah. damn, you look like this in person, like yeah. 
no filters, no none of that extra light work, none of that. Like, yeah. oh, we Coco Jones for sure. Man, dog, it, it, it's like she put on this some cocoa butter all the time. Like, I she swear to God, smell good. I swear to God, <laughs> smile, just nice ass smile. No, no, oh, we yeah, nice little chocolate and shit, man. God, Coco, damn. what's up, baby? <laughs> Hell yeah! No, I just had to know, dog, because you know you see you see people on IG, but you see them in person, it's like a whole different glow to them. Yeah. Like God damn. Yeah. Like I knew this bad, but God, nigga, you ain't one of those crazy. Sexy red look better in person than on camera, though. Mm -hmm. She like she. I was thinking when I seen her it was gonna be some. Yeah. But when I seen, her, I'm like, oh, you look better in person. Like, yeah. All right. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Sticking on this year, man. What's some shit that you learned about yourself, bro? That you didn't even know, like, damn, I'm capable of this, or I need to work on this. Uh, I need to work on being more proactive, man. Like, mm -hmm. me, bro, we have a long weekend, and I'm in the bed for two, three, four days, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're hitting a hard reset, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I need to cut that down, like, maybe a day, because I'm missing out on the other two days, so I'm really just chilling. Yeah. So, I got to be more proactive with shit, man. I'll be trying to get in the gym and fuck around in the gym, but yeah. that shit lasts for one or two days. <laughs> And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm back on some bullshit. So. <laughs> yeah, back eating. Nigga. Like, man, I yeah. just got to get back on my, I got to get proactive, get back yeah. on my take and, initiative type shit. Anything as far as your craft that you need to work on just to bury yourself at, at what you do? Um, Me, I try to stay a little, uh, I try to stay um, in practice like at least a couple of days out the week. I ain't did a club though in like two years yeah. now. Like that's yeah. what's really crazy. Like all my little sets be like maybe an hour or uh, 30 minutes of, like you know what i'm saying i ain't mm -hmm. did no full party so i make sure i i at least get in the lab like two or three times a week though just yeah. to stay polished up because yeah. i get the little independent gigs every now and then no, you know for what sure. i'm saying so sure. now you already know dog. like niggas be on their mental health shit dog you know what i'm saying like what's some shit that you do just to keep yourself not going crazy because you you in this life that you traveling all the time you know what I'm saying? You, you you active all the time. Like, what's some shit that you do just to calm yourself down, keep shit regular, keep shit flowing and shit, dog? No faking, not trying to be funny. Yeah. I just smoke a lot of weed, bro. <laughs> like, that really, like, that really keep me level-headed for real. Like, with a, I get a million questions a day, a million phone calls about a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. A million motherfuckers ask for shit they know they shouldn't be asking for. Like, for sure. all type of shit, bro. It's really the weed that keep me grounded. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm, listen, man. If I ain't had no we I done crashed out by now, somebody, bro. <laughs> Swear to God. No, for sure. Hell yeah. Now, we earlier we was on live, duh, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we gonna go back and forth between real life shit, mm. you know what I'm saying? Personal shit. Mm. And then what you do. But uh, you had mentioned, a nigga had mentioned Skiller in the motherfucking live. You know what I'm saying? You, you, oh, yeah. you Skiller DJ. Yeah. How how irritating can it be? Like niggas always ask you about him to try to make this connection man, with him and shit, listen, dog. Bro. I know it gotta be like, damn, nigga, like. Just cause you close one on me that you go get them niggas in the door. Man, it ain't even that. It's just be like they think me and this nigga glued to the hip. Like, mm -hmm. bro, I'm at home. I don't know where this nigga at, man. Yeah. Like, they hop on the live. Hey, where's Skilla? In my DM. Hey, can you ask Skilla this? Can you ask Skilla this? <laughs> Random calls. Is this Skilla? Like, bro, <laughs> if y'all don't get the fuck on, man, yeah. like I get it, but. I mean, that's a little bro for real. That's my nigga. Like, we turning this bitch up together. But I'm not with him 24-7, exactly. man. Yeah. And I'm if you not. is, nigga, that still ain't your job to connect that shit. Right, even if I was, though. Yeah. But it's like, man, don't come on my live asking me about Skiller. <laughs> Go on his page, man. You yeah. feel me? Don't be at my DM asking me what he doing. Ask that nigga, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm OC. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, be like... Sure. I'm OC man, so yeah. hit that nigga. Up, man. Yeah. Now, how did that connection come from him? Him to make you his his, his DJ, dog. Um, how that all right, bet. So look, shout out. Oh, matter of fact, you want to talk about a nigga get flowers too? Shout out DJ Twist, man. Okay, for sure. Hell yeah. DJ Twist was the one who turned me up for real. Like, um, he was DJing. I don't know how him and Skiller got hooked up, but uh, he was DJing for Skiller, mm. and. By the time right before right before he got signed, mm. but right when he start really getting bookings, like sure. uh, Twist uh, had a baby was having a baby, mm. um, and she was like eight eight and a half months at yeah. the time. Feel me? So while he getting booked, he was like, "Nigga, I can't be running out of time last minute, spending yeah. night out of time." It was like, and me and Twist used to talk about this. Like me and Twist met in like two thousand and. 
2010, 2011, some shit at Wayne State, like, really? when he was DJing and shit down there, so we always been cool and shit, mm -hmm. so, you know, we've been talking about it, talking about it, he was like, shit, and you ready, nah? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready, yeah. like, shit, so, a couple shows, I went to a show with him in Ohio, mm -hmm. just to, like, shadow him and see what mm -hmm. he had going on, went to another show with him, like, all our shows was either between Ohio and Kentucky yeah, at the time. Yeah, close by? Yeah, yeah. so... Uh, like the third show, the third show, he called me and was like, "Man, I we about to go to Milwaukee or some shit like yeah. some close shit. I can't go. You gotta go for me." Yeah. I'm like, "All right, bet." I done watched him a couple times, seen how I was going. Woo woo. -woo. Shit, did the show. Boom. Mm -hmm. The next show, um, skill and manager, uh, Big Juan, mm -hmm. he reached out to me. Personally, like yeah, yeah. he was like, Yeah, Twist already told us, woo, 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 and we gonna lock in with you. Skiller say he like your energy, you do, we gonna lock in with you for sure. We got a show tomorrow, like, damn, <laughs> like, uh, like, damn, yeah, yeah. like, uh, all right, yeah. bitch. So, like, that's how that shit was at the time, yeah. nigga. Like, you wake up not thinking you got shit going on, yeah, then man. later on, you gotta be in Kentucky yeah. or Milwaukee or some shit, like, and that's what I was gonna ask because you said my man with the family. Can, can this be something that you do with a big family and a wife and shit like that? Like, that's some shit you can do. I mean. I mean, really, you can do anything for real. Like, yeah, it's like, on that. yeah, the camp, like, y'all understanding about this shit. Like, you feel me? Mm. Like, you gonna be gone. It's yeah. gonna be times you're gonna be gone. It's gonna mm. be time. It, like, it's really hard to make plans for real because yeah. I could try to be like, all right, next week I'm gonna do this. Then we have fucking around, had three shows mm -hmm. next week on some random shit. Like, it really depend on, it really depend on the dynamic of whoever you dealing with or the understanding y'all got sure. like you For know sure. what I'm saying you not no no real shit right now no. Shit. Oh, yeah I ain't wanna put you out there and shit <laughs> no but dog can you like nigga cause you on the road dog it's, it's, nigga it's hoes out there a lot of hoes like <laughs> You got your lady to clean that you love, but nigga, that temptation, that fight temptation, bro. Like, listen, bro. And I know you got some, some seeds that you be looking forward to going to. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Man, what? Like, 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 can you see yourself doing this? And, and nigga, is, like, you blocking them hoes, nigga? I mean, at the end of the day, and I don't want to sound like no hoe ass nigga, right? Like, <laughs> and, like, because that's the shit, boy. Like, I'm just really trying to keep it a buck. It's like, <laughs> when you in this shit, like, when you deep. Into the shit that yeah. we into, like you know, it's shit that come with it. Man. For sure, like facts. ain't like niggas out here trying to find their wife on the road. Yeah, or no, no, like, no. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes a nigga might come across, you know, a group of young ladies that's just yeah. don't care and they on that. Like you know, yeah. I mean, I ain't saying I'm condoning it, but you gotta understand, man. Yeah. Shit happens, <laughs> yeah. man. For you sure. feel me? Like <laughs> shit happens, bro. Y'all yeah. gotta know that. So. Hell yeah, no, duh. Like you gotta have some some willpower. To, you know what I'm saying? You, <laughs> you <laughs> definitely gotta have some willpower, bro. And that's really, I think that's really what's like holding me back from really like jumping into something for real, for real. Because mm -hmm. it's like, nigga. I'm going out of town seeing some of the baddest bitches I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you go to fucking, um, fucking Milton, Iowa or some <laughs> shit and find yeah, some shit. Like, no, you like, damn. Sure. I'm like, so it's like, nigga, you just, man, you got to understand what come with this yeah, shit. Yeah, you got to be prepared and ready, dog, because, nigga, a regular nigga, so you know if you on that bitch, like, you, you, you with someone who really getting that attention, you already know what's going on. So... <laughs> Man, that shit is man. Dude. It's like if they listen, man. On the road, you realize that a motherfucker can do whatever, yeah. like to get to number one. Is that like? Yeah. And it's crazy. Like, so wait, let me get this straight. You yeah. think if you fuck me, <laughs> that you gonna get a chance to just say something to him? Exactly. I mean, well, if that's what you want to go with, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that's what you, all right, well, look, let's see how that shit work out. That shit funny as hell, dog. That shit. What, what keep you motivated, dog? Really, bro? At first, it was, at first, I ain't gonna lie, it was the money that kept me motivated. Like, mm -hmm. you know, niggas gotta eat for real, man. Yeah. But, nah, it's the experience that keep me motivated. Like, mm -hmm. nigga, last, like, what's today? What's today? Saturday? Saturday. Sunday? Today, Sunday, nigga. Uh, fucking Wednesday, we was just in rehearsal with Tiana Taylor. Like, yeah. for the birthday concert coming yeah, up. Yeah. Like, shit like that, bro. Yeah, like, no, for sure. then, nigga, a couple months ago with that, we had a strip club with 50. Like, yeah. shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. just, like, it's the experience of this yeah. shit, bro. Like, yeah. every time I think some, oh, yeah, nigga, that ain't shit we did. Some other shit happened. Boom. It's like, yeah. damn. Like, we really doing this type of now, shit. Now, when, like, when you feel like when something is about money, 
You really ain't putting your hundred percent effort into it. Like then we start loving it. That's when you just don't give a fuck. Cause you you do it for the strength of the love. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm when you do it for the money, it's like you just kind of relax. You kind of just giving whatever effort. You know what I'm saying? But when it's something that you love, you giving that full hundred percent effort. Cause right now we doing this podcast. I ain't get paid for this shit. You know what I'm saying? This is off the love. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when it become about money, I feel like niggas don't give them that. You know, it's like a nigga with a hoop, hooping who get that big contract just don't give a fuck no more. But I mean, that big contract, they was balling their ass off. It really depends though, because a lot of niggas like. A lot of niggas don't have, like, it's some niggas that got backup plans and, and other shit and plan mm-hmm. B, plan C, plan all that. Some niggas don't. Yeah. So it'd be like, that money really be, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is eating, like, that check coming, that's how I'm going to eat. That mm-hmm. check don't come, I don't eat. I got to yeah. figure it out. Exactly. So it really depends on the situation. Like, yeah. like when I said, before when I said at first it was the money that motivated me, because it was like, it's coming in so fast, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But then it's like, all right, the money here. Mm. And I'm still loving what I do. Like, I'm yeah. still looking forward to every weekend because I know we got a show because I know something brand new going to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's when I, when I said that, that's what I meant by that. Like, do you ever look at life after after this? Like, do you, are you thinking about the bit, the, like, like down the line when you done DJing or some shit? I do. I do. I don't be wanting to, but mm-hmm. I do, though. Like, and what I want to do is I ain't going to say just be a DJ, but it's gonna be in the the music and entertainment field, like yeah. whether it's on air broadcasting, whether it's uh uh um A and R for a label, whether yeah. it's straight producing, like it's gonna be something. Gonna be in the music. Still, yeah, Definitely. you still around? Hell yeah! Definitely. That's what I'm trying to make all the little connections and shit I can make now. Nah, no, nah, for sure. Like that seed for later on. Well, what's been the worst advice and best advice you received, dog? That can be with life. That can be with this this industry shit, just in general. What's some good advice and some bullshit advice you got? The best advice is really, all right, boom. We really can be the same situation, right? The yeah. best and the worst advice, right? The best advice I got was when I was deciding to quit the plant in 2020. That's, that's a lot of nigga shit. I've been wanting <laughs> to quit that bitch. Nigga, I was in that bitch for, nigga. If y'all know how the plant should work, nigga, I was a TPT for four that. and a half years, nigga. <laughs> yep, nigga. Like, four and a half ain't nothing, years, Ain't getting no real benefits. No profit sharing, <laughs> no nothing, <laughs> no none shit. of that shit, man. I was a TPT for four and a half years, nigga. And I'm just like, bro. And I was DJing before I got into the plant. Mm. But, you know, oh, you getting the plant, you good, you set, you know. Nigga, for life, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, just do your 30, you good, like a prison bid. Nigga, this for shit, sure, nigga. they say shit. You feel me? Do like, your time. Man, right, just walk that shit down, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> like, what? Dog fat. So, but I got comfortable in that bitch, mm-hmm. you feel me? Steady paycheck coming every week. Exactly. I'm doing this, ooh, I can work how much t- hours I want to work. Yeah. But my DJ shit slow down. So yeah. now, nah, nigga, I'm fading away in the back of the scene. Woo, woo. Mm-hmm. Man, I got to get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Oh here, yeah, nigga, I'm like man, look at me, nigga. You wanna look like here? You mean, you wanna look like me while you in this bitch? Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, you feel sure. me? I got the fuck on. Yeah. And I'm turnt now. Yeah. You feel me? So really, but I also had motherfuckers like, nigga, are you crazy? You yeah, got no. are you yeah. that DJ and shit is, and this was around the pandemic time. You mm-hmm. feel me? So everybody thinking shit not gonna go back to normal. The yeah. bars on the clubs closed, yeah. like all of this shit. Yeah. So you, you quit that shit. Yeah, around the pandemic. Yeah, yeah that's a big, that was a big motherfucking change. Yeah, right there. yeah, that's when I did it, man. So it's like, no, oh, you crazy? Just staying here. You did five. You got twenty five more years left. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fuck no, man. <laughs> so shit, I ran up some paint, tucked it off, and then jumped off the porch for real, bro. Yeah, yeah. We, not, what, what you a little nervous about it, dog? Like, yeah, hell yeah. At yeah, first, yeah. like it was cool. Like you know, man, fuck this job, man. Yeah. Then next month, I'm like. Damn, damn, <laughs> shit, I had did that shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But then yeah. now it's like, look at me now, I ain't look back. I ain't, yeah. I ain't punching no clocks no more. I did all my clock punching. Man, that I'm that's the do. issue. And I think, like I told somebody else, dog, 2020, that shit just brought new energy to niggas. Like, nigga, I'm, hey, I'm about to work for myself. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm going to get this shit. And then even you got a job, you you never know if that bitch going to be guaranteed, dog. Anything can happen, man. Yeah. Like, back in the day, shit used to be guaranteed. Them plant jobs used to be guaranteed, but niggas are Back in the day, ass, nigga, you only had to work 90 days, nigga, was hired then. Hell yeah. yeah. I was in that bitch four and a half years. Nigga, I was in that bitch for a hot three. Man, and that, that motherfucker, like you said, you got niggas coming in that bitch just, nigga come in three hours early, three hour, staying three hours late. Like, damn. Well, now you gotta get this money, nephew. Like, nigga, when the fuck you got time for your your family, for God. yourself? You know what I'm saying? A nigga be in that bitch and 
and schedule out his whole week and know how much his check going to be. Mm-hmm. Man. Yo, I got to do this one extra. I got to do one overtime day. Whoop, that's going to set me right. And I'm good. Like, man, I ain't trying to do all Dog, that shit. Dog, yeah, man. that shit. Nigga be never just chilling. Shit. You feel me? Yeah, but I think like nowadays, niggas growing up, like my, my, my kids, like kids growing up, they not thinking about, oh, I'm going to get this 9-5 and work this bitch, like you said, for 30, 30 years. Right now, they, nigga, they in high school think about how to be a, how to be a business. You and know that's what I'm cool. For that's good, though, because it's like, I ain't saying... Nobody don't go to school, don't get a job, none of that shit. But what I'm saying is, nigga, now we getting like the younger generation. They got more of a, a peek behind the curtains exactly. that you yeah. don't need to yep. lock in for 25, 30 years yeah. at one job. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? And you he can said, "What that bitch down, nephew?" You feel me? Like. <laughs> Nigga just put nigga, niggas, Hey but niggas in that bitch Right now Walking that bitch down To 26 I swear nigga. to god You're 26 Thinking like damn I got a couple more I swear to god bro And, and shit life Just I'll never Nigga life ain't supposed To be like that bro Like you work until You damn near dead And you ain't got A couple years To enjoy your life Nigga like You feel me nigga. like They don't even want To spin the cheese nigga. Yeah like, I done seen Nigga I was in a plant Seeing a nigga die like a nigga passed out in the plant. Oh, a nigga passed out in the plant, nigga, yeah. and he died. Like Man. in the plant, like yeah. he, all that money he's had talked about saved up. Like yeah. he can't even spend it. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's fucked up. I, I'm not trying to be one of them niggas though. You, you quit that bitch in 2020. You ever think about if you would stay? How things would be for you? You would just. You think you would? If you would stay any longer, you would fell into that hole or walking that thirty down. Definitely. Yeah. Especially because this is what's fucked up, though, bro. The year that I quit was the year I got hired in, nigga. <laughs> I was hired in for like two months, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You took and a chance, like, man. And quit, like yeah, you took a good man, chance. Though, I could yeah. at least waited to the first proper sand check. Man. <laughs> hell yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I knew that bitch was coming once a year. Duh. So hell yeah, but nigga. yeah. Duh. I did all that time just to get hired in and quit. Man, shit, that shit worked out though. Yeah, that shit. Now I had this Fuck question, dog. It. Cause too many, <laughs> that was a good one too. Four, nigga. Yeah, four, <laughs> four, that's way better than Chrysler and shit, though. That nigga be holding you. Four correctional facility. Yeah, cause I know a, a young lady was a TPT for ten years, nigga. I believe it. Well, it was, and then they was getting over, and then you ain't got no vacation days. Nothing, nigga. nigga. I had my baby. I had my baby on July sixteenth. Nigga, I had to go back to work July eighteenth, nigga. <laughs> or you Damn. Get, or you gonna get fired, nigga? Cause as a TPT, you can't take no days off. Who's that, Chrysler? Yep. Oh, yeah, right here at J Mac, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, uh, nigga, that shit, dog, that shit is wild, bro. That shit. Now, I asked everybody this shit, dog. I don't know if you too thug to answer it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Too thug is crazy. When last time you cried, dog? What was the reason? It didn't have to do with death. <laughs> That's why I say too thug. Damn, nigga. that didn't have to do with death? Yep. This nigga say I was seven. Damn, <laughs> no, I couldn't even tell you for real, like... Oh, I mean, that didn't have to do with death. I had caught COVID. I thought it was over. <laughs> when I, I, I had, listen, man, I had, look, I caught COVID and I thought it was over. Because uh, my pops had somebody at his job, like two people at his job, yeah. that died from yeah, that shit. Duh. You feel me? Like, and I'm sitting here like, ooh, wee. So, <laughs> like, I just knew, like, I didn't, nobody close to me passed, yeah. but a lot of people that was, Around people that I knew, yeah, that, like, yeah. or knew somebody that died, man. I'm yeah. like, fuck. Duh. So I went to the doctor. <laughs> he told me that shit, dog. <laughs> yeah. So 2020 was the last. Yep. Duh. I nigga. thought it was over. Man. Cause I was feeling fucked up. Though. Like, hey, COVID had me down bad, nigga. Like, don't even want to get off the bed. Don't touch me. Like, ooh. Duh. Niggas was that bitch saying fuck COVID like it was cancer, nigga. No, hey. <laughs> for real, cause, nigga. Niggas catch that bitch and niggas was dying. Nigga, for real. Like, duh. Like, niggas was thinking, I'm saying making homemade masks for my son, nigga, out of socks. For real. Like, nigga, though, that shit was wild, bro. You had bro. to do what you had to do, though. But you got to think, low key, that time got niggas together, though, bro. I, I feel like it brought family together. Yeah. It got you a peace of mind what you wanted to do with your life. Yeah. I feel like, low key, it was kind of needed, dog. Niggas started seeing real money, so they started wanting to go ahead and invest in themselves and shit, dog. During COVID, you found out who you really was. Like, yeah. Like, the, the, if you was a hustler, the true hustler came out. If you, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you yeah. was one of them workout niggas, you was working out from the top of the morning to the, <laughs> you went sure. to bed. Like, yeah. if you, you found out who you really was during COVID, what shit us do? No, for sure. <laughs> but Fact. soul search, look within yourself, <laughs> nigga. Like, it wasn't shit us Hey, to niggas do. face, how many niggas having drinks? I swear to God, have a party, nigga. Shut up. No, nigga. I never been. On this many niggas lives until COVID, I swear dog. to God, bro. <laughs> Everybody that had an Instagram was on live, man. Hey, Clubhouse, all of that shit. Like, dog, niggas was, but you had to, nigga. I, I was sitting in, we was sitting on Clubhouse a couple times, nigga. 
I was trying to get passwords to get in that bitch because you had to get like access to get to clubhouse mm-hmm. or some to shit. get to different rooms. Yeah. Dog, niggas was really like finding a way to enjoy their time at the crib, bro. I swear to God, bro. Niggas, dog, that shit. Cause I see this nigga, I see this nigga all the time. I didn't see this nigga for a good month or two, dog. After a mm. while, we like, man, fuck it. Come yeah. to the crib, nigga. We just barbecuing every day, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> nigga. Me and Spooty, nigga, would hit, take turns, nigga, dropping shit off on each other's porch and shit. Like, <laughs> hey, nigga, I left you shit on the porch, nigga. Stay safe, nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Yo, no, Spooty like this type of nigga who's really taking that shit serious, No, for, for real. When I told him, nigga, when I told him, listen, bro, I had a ring camera. I wish I knew how to say these videos back like <laughs> then, bro. When I told that nigga I had COVID, bro, the nigga came to the crib in a full hazmat suit Duh. to drop some shit off on me on the porch, bro. <laughs> that shit was the funniest shit ever, bro. Duh. Niggas was, duh, niggas would make some shit up, I duh. swear to God. Hey, niggas was spraying down groceries, nigga. Everything, bro. Duh, that shit was hilarious, dog. Everything. Hey, the niggas was eating off that Uber shit, that Uber uh, Eats and shit. Yeah, nigga. hell yeah, Uber. Niggas was eating, dog, uh-huh. eating, dog. Uh. So, man, I ain't want to jump into this shit right away. You know, because I hate, I, I be wanting to get to know nigga, dog. I hate when shit just get right to it, like, you know what I'm saying? But you bro, Spooly, man. And I, I don't want to hit, I be want to hit y'all niggas up, dog, but I don't want to be in business. I don't know what's going on. But what's up with the motherfucker podcast? Y'all was one of the few podcasts outside of me I thought that was dope. I'm about to tell you. Meet the motherfucker Connect was one of my, y'all, low key, I was, y'all, it was friendly competition for me with y'all, because I saw what y'all was doing. Y'all was the homies. I, I feel like I had to match y'all energy. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, I was hating like y'all niggas trash. I'll suck niggas to y'all. Like, y'all should go to them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I, I always think friendly competition oh, yeah, is needed. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, oh, damn, they got him. Nigga, fuck. I try to get Tone Tone. Tone Tone, I try to get you, dog. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just talk about, I kind of know a little bit what happened, dog. But just talk about why it's. All right, bet. I'm going to keep it all the way up. A bean. Please do, man. Please. All right. The studio we was at, the studio that you had came For sure. Say. The studio we was at, uh, had caught on fire yeah um i don't know if it was intentional or i don't know what i don't know the niggas real hate inside my focus, though. yeah i don't shout out my nigga focus tv i don't know what happened i just know the studio had caught on fire mm-hmm. right so that set us back for sure boom yeah. then skillers start touring yeah so now i'm gone a lot like probably four five months out the year mm-hmm. right and when i do come back it's random sale for a day or two then I'm right back out type yeah. shit um and Spooty he working 9 to 5 you know he, yeah. he got a 9 to 5 he yeah, doing his fam. thing he walking his he walking his shit down yeah. you feel <laughs> me and uh you know but he got the fam and everything he gotta do what he gotta do yeah. our schedules just don't mm-hmm. be on the same link up time yeah. like how they used to be you know for sure. we used to be every Sunday this time we you know we here here you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying but now it's like shit I might be home on a Monday I might be home on a Thursday shit yeah. oh this Saturday I'm home but next Saturday I'm not so our, our schedules really got fucked up with it yeah. and it's like I'm gonna be a real nigga it's really me it's yeah. really it's really me because he done found different studios yeah but they don't let us smoke, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, that'd be it. And yeah. I gotta be able to smoke, yeah, man. That yeah. was the thing I loved about Focus Studio, bro. I could smoke in that bitch. I can do me. Like, yeah, yeah. So I take full, I'm not gonna say full, but I take a lot part of, of the, the reason why is because yeah. we done seen some cool little setups and spots and halls and all that, but yeah. they don't let us smoke. Y'all ain't talking about getting your own shit? Yeah, that's what we, that's yeah. funny you said that, like, that's what, been the last few conversations we've been having, yeah. like, fuck it. Yeah, like, man. then, I, like, I want to take my shit on the road, then he do his shit still here, and then when we here, exactly. put it yeah, together yeah. type shit. Exactly, yeah, yeah, definitely do that shit, yeah, because you, like, you see, you're on the road a lot, you can do quick little motherfucking yeah. shit, and he here. God, the, didn't he do that shit by himself with uh, Cash Dog? Yeah. I was hating. We, they went to, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you was hating. <laughs> nigga, this all the show, I was hating, nigga. <laughs> what? He sent me the footage. I'm like, dog. Yeah. Cause he told me he was going to the. Uh, I can't remember what event it was. Yeah. But he I, told me he was going to the event, and then he sent me the footage. Like, yup, we got the one on one. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you wait till I'm gone to get the one on one. Like, uh, but no, that was a good look for the show. Yeah. But I was jealous too on that. I yeah, swear to God, I yeah, was. Yeah. So, so right now it's Sunday, dog. The uh, I said December, September, something. We gonna get yeah, meet the connect come back up. Yeah. Oh no, definitely for sure. For sure. I was a, I was worried, bro, because like I said, I, I, I'm i not the type of nigga being be niggas' business. I'm like, damn, is they still cool? No, yeah, that's my nigga. I talk to my nigga every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you know how it is when you got podcasts where you with multiple people. If it's two, if it's three, 
Shit happens, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real oh, yeah. life shit happens. And then niggas get, get to breaking them. Niggas no, get to falling out. No, but when out. niggas don't, man, listen, man. Cause I I'm, definitely wasn't going to ask y'all niggas y'all falling out. That's why I just wanted to know. Nigga, right? I met Spooty in 2008, man. Yeah. Like, no, I'm tripping. 2009. I met Spooty in 2009, man. Like, no matter what the fuck we got going on, yeah. like... That it's deeper than all of that shit. Yeah, like that's sure. my brother for real. Like yeah. I don't care if we do fall out on some business shit or what. We're never gonna take away from exactly. him being family. That's like, how yeah, to be. but we ain't never like yeah. if he doing his thing, I'm doing mine. We still yeah. meet the connect. We still sure. planning on the comeback. We just gotta make it right. Yeah, man. Cause like I said, man, it's not. I'm a hater, dog. I hate niggas, dog. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't too many motherfuckers that I fuck with. I fuck with y'all shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit. And I, I had good time. On the show, dog. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Definitely. And I and that's how you know I'm not a hater, dog. Cause I knew the other dude that was on there wasn't, you know, what I'm saying, wasn't, you know. <laughs> but I told I, when Spooky hit me, I'm like, um, hey, I, I'm like, all right, <laughs> like, what, I'm like, whatever, nigga. <laughs> uh, Cause I told him, I told Q, like, hey, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the most out of this shit. I'm gonna, I, I told him, I'm gonna live this bitch up, cause my man. That was different. <laughs> I, that 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 episode was kind of different, like, yeah. and I'm like, I got the idea, but when I went back and watched this, Duh. like, buddy just it was a little cringe. Well, yeah, like, <laughs> buddy was just you know, and but, like nigga, but uh, and that's why I'm like nigga, he should be behind the scenes and stop trying to, cause he ain't got the you got the voice for this was bitch. A, he definitely was a behind the scenes nigga, oh. like he definitely. So it was so funny when he hit me like, yeah, I got you coming on, and this other dude such and such, I'm like. So you was already hit beforehand. Yeah, dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> okay. So, oh, so live and we going through this shit live. It's like, uh, dog. Yeah, you better off having me and him on that bitch. Oh, man, listen, man. Duh. That shit. That's kind of why that episode got a little. Man, you know, went to the back of the, yeah, the, the back burner on the stove. I'm but, a motherfucker, like, cause like I said, and like I said, that's how you know I'm not a hater, cause I could have told you know, say, sweet, hey, let me do that shit, dolo. Yeah, but I'm like, fuck it. Watching that shit, I wish we would have did it so like, <laughs> I ain't even trying to, you know what I'm saying? Dog, but it, shout out the dog, whoever you is. Yeah, that nigga ain't doing nothing no more. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's mad at me and shit because I wouldn't let him come on. Come on, thing is this, bro. I, I do this shit once a week. Some mm -hmm. niggas do multiple shows a week, dog. If I'm gonna do shit once a week, I want to make sure I have the best product for the week that I can. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just what it is, dog. But how many episodes you had like that without? I'm not gonna ask you to name names. But how many episodes you had like that when you like, damn, Spooty, it should just been me and you, dog. Uh, I'm trying to think. It was a it, nigga. Yeah. It's been some though. Yeah. I ain't gonna cap. Yeah. That one, the one you talking about. Yeah. Uh, damn, I had to be involved in that shit. <laughs> and probably like, without saying, it was like two other ones probably mm -hmm. that could have been like, yeah. We ain't even and see, and that's forever. why I said you and. That's why it's good to have a co-host, bro, on shit, on shit like that. When you you feel it between y'all two, that this shit, this guess ain't really what y'all thought it was gonna be. So now y'all gotta, gotta that yeah, bitch up. you gotta make it, you gotta make do with what you yeah. got though. So that's why I feel like y'all two is a perfect combo, cause you know what I'm saying from outside looking in, you know what I'm saying you the hype one, energy, spooky the laid back one, you know what I'm saying, chill. Mm -hmm. So y'all bash each other out pretty good. Yeah, that's Duh. my dog. For Hell sure. yeah. Was it always the show was always consistent? Y'all two? Yep. It was never nobody else. It was nope. a mix. Nope. Man. He actually was crazy as Spooty. He was actually on another. I, uh, I, yeah, peep. Yeah, he yeah. was on another show, and I was like, "Bro, if I do this, I ain't you the only nigga I'm gonna do it with, yeah. bro." So it's like I ain't ain't like I was like, "Nigga, pick a side." Yeah. But it was like, "Pick a that, side." That show he was on. That was that, that's the that's the homie for y'all too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to bro, dog. Yeah, and then like and me being a real nigga, I talked to dog too. I'm like, yeah. "Look, bro, like I know what y'all got going on," but and then he knew he understood. The dynamic yeah. between me and Spooty anyway, yeah, so he yeah, was yeah. like, "Shit, go ahead, bro." So they ain't fuck up nothing. Y'all, everybody still one hundred. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Hell yeah. Now, all them niggas still my niggas to this day. Well, Hell yeah. Most of them. Yeah, yeah. Mad Max. That's my name. Miles. 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 My yeah, bad, Miles. 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 We was at work and did some shit together too, dog. Yeah, my but nigga. But yeah, Miles. I see he slowed down because he coach. He doing a lot of shit out there. Yeah, he doing a lot. Cause of I be shit. coaching and shit too, dog. Shout out to Miles, dog. Yeah, that nigga took me out there to Pontiac. Uh, I was assistant coach for him for the, his basketball team. Oh, so like, you coach? You know, yeah. who, I mean, I tried. <laughs> Let's get a go, nigga. Let's put five on five. We can do that. <laughs> we can do that for hey, sure. I ain't hooping, though. I'm coaching. We, no, no, I see. No. <laughs> hey, we, could, we could do that, though. Like, me and Lil Bro go crazy. Oh, That's so what y'all got to know. You hooping or you coaching? Yeah, I'm, I'm hooping. All right, I'm, I'm coaching. Yeah. I'm a... <laughs> I see, my thing is, bro, like I said, that pro record shit, I don't be in the gym, nigga. Yeah. I'm, I'm one down the back, and I'm ready no, to sub out. We should set some shit, though. Like, a, I got the gym over here at Cabbie Warren. You know what I'm saying? Nice little gym. 
Oh, that shit dome everything, nigga. Let's up, do it. Set up a 10 on 10, nigga. We, a 10 on 10. Yeah, get, get you a team of 10, I got a 10. Man, we can do five on five, man. All right, man, I'm still coaching, though. I ain't hoping, nigga. No, you got to hoop. You can't be talking all this <laughs> shit and then don't even hey, be hooping. See, my thing is this, dog. Let me tell you this. I used to hoop, nigga, real good, dog. But then I stopped hooping and started having kids and shit, dog. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I'll be going to the rack, nigga, and that bitch just get tired, nigga. Like, oh, yeah. The other day, I, I coached um, Academy of Warren Middle School and I coached uh, at Jalen Rose High School now. I'm in that bitch passing the ball, nigga. This shit hurt, bro. Nigga, I'm like, what the fuck, nigga? I'm like, man, fuck this. Man, niggas shit, getting old, man. And, like, just... and Skiller one of the ones that like he could really hoop. No, yeah. Solid like he a hacking nigga, dog. He just um <laughs> shit, baby man just dropped what he had like twenty six or some shit. They had that little basketball game down in Shreveport yeah. with for the humor. Oh yeah, yeah. Shit. yeah. So yeah. you hooping, nigga? What? What's your specialty, dog? You a jump, jump nigga, jump shot nigga? No, I'm in the corner, three ball. Yeah. I'm good for a mid range. For sure. But for I'm sure. really like a slasher type nigga. Like, you yeah. feel me? I don't, I don't need to be trying to break niggas' ankles and all that. That's <laughs> yeah. shit, man. Give yeah. me that bitch. Watch what I do with it. For man. sure, for sure, for sure. For dog. sure. Who was the guest that was, like, just super hard to get, dog? Like that, for the show? I don't know if that pause moment, but, yeah, a, tough, a, a guest that was tough to get, dog. Y'all was like, damn, we did that shit. Cause y'all had some shit, dog. Man, we got some shit, dog. Y'all, y'all, y'all niggas had some. Dog. But like it, said, and even see the thing is, I ain't even gonna say hard, though. Um, uh, the hardest one is the motherfucker I be with all the time. Mm-hmm. I still ain't got that nigga on my shit. Yeah. See, I thought that was probably purposely. Man, kind of yeah, kind of no. Yeah, I thought that was purposely. Like nigga, we ain't gonna. Even, I, I know I can. Get Especially it, with the break, I could have did it, but it was like. We was going to be in a random studio. I want to be yeah. in our city. Sure. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. But the hardest, like. Mm, I I couldn't tell you, yeah. bro. Because everybody we wanted, we got. Yeah. And it was like. Who was the guest that you were su- surprised by? Like, damn, this, 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 this nigga should be either, like, bigger than what he is. Or I know they was this funny. Or. I know. Excuse me. This cool. The the. I mean, hurt. Okay. Cause I'm an HP nigga, right? So I grew yeah. up listening to hurt. So when I found out, and when we locked that in and mm-hmm. got him in, I was like, oh shit, like yeah. niggas making some noise. Like, yeah. cause niggas just don't do interviews with anybody. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Um, hurt. Uh, Rocky was cool. Yeah. Cool in real life. Yeah, she spent me. Uh. <laughs> Me 20 minutes for a show. Look, Rocky, how you doing? <laughs> oh my god, nigga, spent my ass 20 minutes before this shit, nigga. Rip, man. It's good, dog. That shit that happened to us before, bro. Too. Like, how hard is it? Like, bro, my thing, niggas think because we do it at the crib in the basement that I live here, but I'm coming from Livonia. So, nigga, when I'm coming, nigga, I, that's why I be on niggas like, hey, everything's still good because I ain't trying to waste this gas. Gas high. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think who else though was. Because it's probably a little easier for y'all when y'all get to spin action because y'all can just go ahead and have a conversation about shit that's going on during the week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to think. It was one person that gave us a runaround and then came to. Really? I just can't think of who. Because the one time, I remember what's in, the g Man shit didn't work out the first time, but I'm glad it didn't because I felt like when he came back around, I knew a little bit more about him. Yeah, timing. Exactly. It's always exactly. about timing. So I wasn't mad because he, at least he gave me a heads up. He didn't spin me and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So when he came back around, I felt like my questions was better. I knew a little bit more because niggas never asked him certain questions that I did, like as far as like him being in the group. Niggas didn't know he was in a group. Yeah. And when I brought that shit up, nigga, nigga was like, what the fuck? Cause? Like, how you know that? But see, we, we supposed to know shit. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying. Exactly. Be like, oh damn, nigga, do your homework. Yeah, nigga, who's the one like, between you and Spooky? Who's the one doing the, doing the research? Cause like mm-hmm. he was <laughs> like he was nigga working. Like Spooky, like cause we got this nigga out there. Spooky, definitely Spooky. I yeah. ain't even gonna lie. Like it's sometimes nigga. I right now like we used to have, like some shows we had notes and little shit yeah. like that. I run through all my shit yeah. and then he. Come up with some other shit, and then the guests be like, "Damn, how you know that?" Yeah. I'm, yeah, nigga, cause he do his homework, nigga. That's what we do. Cause uh, you said the freestyle, nigga. Like, nigga, damn. I swear to God, yeah, like, I'm more of that. I like that shit though, I, I, cause I'm more of a structured dude. But I be wanting to freestyle, but I be scared that I'ma fuck up on the freestyle. Cause it be like I just try to make it like less of a, uh, more of a conversation and less of an interview. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how I like it. Though. So it be like I ask like. 
I got certain shit I want to go around or yeah. or or touch on, so it's yeah. like I stay in this area. But Sporty, he had that shit. Yeah. He seemed like a corporate nigga because I I'm, I look at his, his profile. He a corporate ass nigga for real, real yeah, life. Yeah, like, real life. <laughs> in so real life, he like he hey, it's boom, boom, boom. Yeah. He like nigga X Y nigga yeah. A B two one three nigga. Sorry like, God, because <laughs> he he put events together. Yeah, he put. My bad, I'm sorry. No, you good. He put events together and shit for his job and shit, so he really be exactly. on that yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. So. That's why I said, that's why I had folk with y'all, dog. When niggas came on the podcast, every time niggas asked me where to go, I'm like, dog, go on, meet the connect. You got to. And the connect the experience. That's with these twins. So it was like, those was the two I was kept shouting out, because I felt like y'all just real, dog. Like, yeah. And I don't want to waste nobody's time. I, I'm like, y'all, y'all gonna have a good time. Like, y'all gonna laugh, crack jokes. The twins, it's gonna be some jokes cracking, but they gonna really do like some super... Sway in the morning type research on your mm -hmm. ass. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like y'all too outside me was like I feel like we was the big three as far as like the podcast shit. I got shot with the girls, dog. You know what I'm saying? You got to Adora Daisy. Yeah. I, then my dogs. They I, came. I don't know this. what happened with Tillman shit. I know Adora was going through her thing and stuff like that, but it's like it's like when you come in with the freshman class, dog, with the motherfucker on the uh double SL. And I'm like, damn. It feel like kind of like I'm like the last one left. I'm like, dog, what happened to y'all niggas? Like, come uh, back. Skinny, come back. <laughs> Skinny, come back, man. No, but it's like, man. Because I'm a fan people, of this shit. What people, know, what people don't realize, like, niggas be having real lives, too. Like, you no know what facts. I'm saying? So, shit, ain't no telling. Life hit you however it hits you. Y'all know life, life. No, no. Life be life and when it wanted life. You nigga, feel me? I've been going through shit. While I'm recording, nigga, coming on this bitch, mad stress. And got to blank it out for yeah, 45 minutes or however like, long you right. record. You feel and that's me? why I say, when I, when, that's why I asked that question as far as, like, what's some shit that keep you just, nigga, when shit ain't going right? What's some shit that keep you grounded? And that's why I say the coaching, the podcast shit be saving me, bro. Yeah. Because I be going through some real life shit. Yeah. I be nigga the fuck out the crib. My shit be the experience, man. Because even when it's, even when it's with the podcast, right? Like... This is some shit that I never thought I'd be doing. Yeah. You feel me? So when I'm doing it and I'm getting artists that people want to see or I'm getting inf uh, uh, influencers that's in the city that people want to see, it's yeah. like, like, damn, we really doing that shit. No, like, facts. So it really be the experience that keep a nigga going. For how, uh, how big of an inter interview it was to get Big Dog Blast? Um, it was, listen, man, let me tell you the funniest. That's a legend, nigga, like, let me tell you the funniest shit about that. I don't know if niggas seen the episode, right? Yeah. Nigga. I was doing this is when uh, Trust was still open. I was doing the brunches on Sunday, bro. Mm -hmm. It ended up staying over like maybe like 30, 40 minutes, yeah. right? But that was the podcast time, yeah, for right? Sure. Yeah, so, yeah. Spooty, my phone did all type of wild shit. Yeah. Spooty took over the, the, the interview. I came in late. Like, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> but I'm speeding to this bitch. I'm like, nigga, we got big dog blast. Yeah, Hold on, for bro. Sure, I'm, for sure. I'm talking about running lights. I'm doing all type of weird shit because I got to make sure I make this interview, man. I get it to the interview, and this nigga got to go. Duh. Five minutes, man. Duh. Oh my, like, oh my God, I was sick about it, but yeah. it was, it was, it was big because that one was more. It was for the culture, for man. sure. Like, yeah, if yeah. You, he if you in Detroit man. and don't know who Big Dog something Blast wrong. is, something wrong. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So and you can tell when that nigga OC was late, dog. Cause that nigga have a suit on. His <laughs> Hey, hey, crispy. Hey, <laughs> hey, you feel? I be having that brunch attire on. Hey, man. Oh, shit. The nigga dog. be trying to play the part. I swear to God, I do. How much do you miss the podcast, dog? I know you been on the road. Like, man, I, I I miss it a lot. Like, just make the like, connections with niggas. The connections, and then it's like that's the the the, the release at the end of the week. Yeah. Like, how was your week, nigga? Man, let me tell you. Dog, like, you know sure. what I'm saying? Or some for shit sure. like that. So, for sure, that's that what I was, say. Yeah. My shit supposed to be like that, dog. When I first started this podcast, shit it supposed to be me. My cousin, who I shout out uh, earlier, Lance, mm -hmm. and his homeboy. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to talk shit like y'all. Mm -hmm. I ain't want to have no guests. I just wanted to, hey, whatever going on during the week or whatever topics we come up with, let's chop it up. Mm -hmm. My man's like, he corporate. He can't really talk about certain shit. So, cause I'm gonna talk about whatever. Yeah. My man's, he really ain't committed. So I'm like, fuck it. I call my my uncle, nigga, who my producer. I'm like, listen, I got my homeboy. He gonna be my guest. Mm -hmm. Start from there. Mm -hmm. And like I said, that shit, this shit helped me build. Relationships that I never, I never thought I'd meet y'all niggas or just certain people like you know what I'm saying. That shit helped me meet niggas and shit, bro. So, I I I, I love this podcast shit, man. Yeah, yo, I'm really trying to get back to it though. Yeah, but it back, it's like now now that um <laughs> we more we getting more into like some touring shit yeah. and less of the shows like every weekend and shit. So. Now I'm gonna have a little bit more time to really like try and put it together. For sure. But it's really been me, man, with that yeah. no smoking shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you and, willing to get that shit up or you just say, fuck, I got it, nigga, I gotta be me. 
Nigga, we the been had nigga, we done had so many yeah. spots, nigga. Sure. Hell yeah. It's really me. I'm like standing on that shit, bro. Cause that yeah. was like I don't be giving a fuck about nothing yeah. else. Location, time, yeah. date, none Let of that me shit. Blow, nigga. I just Balls. gotta be able to Whoa. Balls. Whoa. <laughs> it's all this diddy shit going around. Nick niggas gotta be extra careful about yeah. what they saying now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where my nigga Mace at? Pause. <laughs> That but was no, crazy. But yeah, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> but no, it's just me. It's really me though. Yeah. Like, it's, I'm really being stubborn, yeah. and that could be hurting us. Yeah. But it's like y'all that's come, how we right, started. Y'all gonna come back this year or next year though? If you had to guess, y'all have to see. All right. Now I got this segment called "Can You." I say, "Can I start with Can You?" You finish it. I mean, no, I, I, you answer the question though. Can you be with a bitch that cheated on you? No. <laughs> now you never, never forget that. Never forget. No. Her. Okay. You too. Yeah. That, listen, through all my old hoes yeah. know you yeah. like you through like yeah. I can do anything else, but cheating is just yeah. like because you got to think as a nigga, right? You know what your bitch capable of, so it's like <laughs> you just you assume she cheating and she just turned that night she cheated, she was just a demon. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Nah, you looking back at this bitch face like. <laughs> I just want to sock you, bitch, because yeah. you probably done show him no, all the little shit. That, like, and I say, nigga, it's, it, it, any way it go, it's disrespectful. But I believe the position you in is super disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you riding, nigga, you disrespectful. You looking him in his if, face. Or yeah, if you shit. motherfucking, um, if you missionary, nigga, you love this nigga. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like you get that side action, you looking for me to come in the door, so you kind of you, you kind of <laughs> you on guard. Yeah, dude. you on guard, nigga. So that's that, that's like if I if I catch my bitch cheating, I really hurt be side action because that bitch she was hoping that you know what I'm saying just looking at the door. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck that. I, ain't, I I'm still I'm done with you, but I feel like you 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 kind of have my best interest. <laughs> <laughs> my your best interest would be not letting a nigga in the house. But if you mouth to mouth with a nigga, dog, oh, oh nigga, titties on titties, nigga. Oh, you don't give a fuck about me, dog. Mm -hmm. She ain't give a fuck when she got in the bed. <laughs> That's what niggas ain't knowing. She ain't give a fuck when she yeah. got in the bed. All right, can you expect for your girl to forgive you for cheating? And have your girl, have your girl, or vice versa, have you have she never been a part of your, you know, what I'm saying life? And Listen, bro, and everybody gonna hate me for saying this, bro, but I'm one of the niggas that think like niggas just wired that way, bro. Yeah. Like, like niggas is just. It's gonna happen. I'm not saying it is cool. Not saying that it's supposed to happen, but it's gonna happen. And so yeah. it's like, especially like, like me, right? Just hypothetically, I got a girl. Mm. I got a show in wherever the fuck. I had a little bitch on the road. Like, that's all it was. Yeah. You gonna leave yeah. me for that? Yeah. <laughs> like, ain't like I'm sending this bitch money. I ain't you ain't catch me at some shit that at a. Uh, 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 a fancy ass resort that yeah. I ain't took you to or no yeah, elaborate sure. shit. That's why niggas be fucking up. Niggas be treating bitches <laughs> that they sneaking with better no, than a bitch sure. at home. No, that's a fact. That's like, a fact. Nigga. You, yeah, it same ain't shit that. Nigga, I met a bitch after the show. Whoop, yeah. did that. Yeah. I caught a flight. Nigga, yeah, for what's sure. her name? I don't know. Yeah. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Just, that's, yeah. how, that's how unimportant a bitch is. Like, yeah, exactly. So I would hope, like, yeah, I would hope if I get caught cheating yeah. that shit. Yeah. <laughs> can you this year. can you make noise in the rap game without having social media experience, uh, uh no. social media presence? No. Really? Now that is no. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah. Who gonna hear it? How they gonna hear it? Facts. Radio, yeah, I think radio's not playing unsigned music a lot mm -hmm. like that no more. Mm -hmm. If they do it's three, four, five o'clock in the morning yeah. when everybody sleep. <laughs> um like nigga. Who gonna see it? Like, who gonna hear it? Where, where? How you gonna go viral? Like, that's we not selling CDs out the trunks no more. Like fast. back so, then, yeah. yeah, you pull up Bella, hey, I got these CDs. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, you need social media, whether it's Twitter, whether it's uh, Instagram, yeah. TikTok is really the one. No, I'm about to really get back. Yeah, on my nigga, TikTok I try shit. to avoid that shit, but my son, nigga, 17, told me like, nigga, you need to be on TikTok. You feel me? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they no. start with the kids, man. Yeah. The kids be the first ones on every new trend, fast. every new. Fast. Dance every all of that shit. Whoever yeah. hot, who got the 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 number one single, or who mm -hmm. got the catchiest shit? Because yeah. that's what it is. TikTok and Instagram. Yeah. Can you be a successful creator without being in the mix? What you mean, successful creator? Like, all right, I'm I'm a brand. This is my brand. Whatever it is, if it's his podcast, if it's clothing, whatever, without being in people's faces. Because Diddy always tell me, Deshaun always tell me, like, nigga, you need to be seen more. You need to be out you said more. Diddy told you what? I need to be out more. No, Deshaun, 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 nigga. <laughs> oh, hey, my hey, God. Hey, 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 
Diddy. HP Diddy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, Deshaun. My cool. nigga, my nigga done been to a Diddy party. It's cool, <laughs> though. Yo, no, but no, can you, uh, he tell me I need to be seen more. Yeah, bro. So do you feel like you can blow, you know, blow up with what you do without being out no, in the mix? No, no, I don't. And he right by yeah. telling you that because the people was telling me that too because I'm really not the, I ain't really the social, I mean, like, yeah. Nigga, like, you know, it's cool. I'm around y'all niggas. It's cool. Like, oh, you, you. That's what's up. Nice to meet you. You, you. But you got to network with these people because guess what? If nowadays you got to know somebody to even be around the people that's somebody. No, facts. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the rooms I'm in now, Mm. I didn't even know existed. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, but I'm in different rooms. So, if I'm not in the mix, so guess what? I'm in this room with all of these people Mm. that is like up here. Yeah. They we but we chilling. Mm-hmm. So now next time niggas might see me out, oh, oh see what up. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like you got to you got to be in the mix or you yeah. got to network and meet people because nowadays relationships well everything it's, it, it's everything and relationships is better than money, bro. Yeah. Cuz like I said that your relationship with my man Twist mm-hmm. led you to this. Let you feel me? Exactly. And bro. like a nigga could have called anybody in the world exactly, like exactly. his he could have put his little cousin on yeah. or like anybody <laughs> in the world, bro. And that's why I said you cannot I tell my brother this dog. I was just talking to him about this yesterday, bro. Like yesterday. Like you can't fuck up connections, bro. You can't. You never know like you can't. You never know when you are gonna need this motherfucker, or when this motherfucker might do you a favor, a solid. Like you, don't fuck up your connections that you have, dog. And then, like, like for instance, right? And I'm gonna just put you want this. Some more frisky? No. <laughs> no more Diddy juice for me. <coughs> That's why I'm slow rolling this shit. This shit. <laughs> I'm sipping on a pancake. Hey, nigga, this shit truck. good. I'm over here buzzing. <laughs> Nigga, it's like, um, <laughs> for instance, like that time I touched, like I said, we, I was in a strip club with 50 and shit. Like, we yeah. chilling, we thugging, we doing our thing. Mm-hmm. 50 mans on a strip club in the city. That relationship with him got yep. me close to the dog. Nah, I'm in line for yeah, when they to, open uh, up. All Stars? Um, and just talking about the Quinter or something shit, Eight Mile? No, it's on the West Eight Mile. Uh, okay. Uh, it's going to be called Elysium. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can't remember what it used to be before. Yeah. I think it was used to be Trump's. I okay. think. Okay. More than them clubs. Yeah, one of them bitches. Some of them motherfuckers. That relationship helped led me to this relationship. Exactly. You feel me? So yeah, it's like, yeah. nah, it's like, but that's all just be being around niggas. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. man. And I, I'm type of nigga. I hate just being outside, bro, all the time. Like, but then you got to if you want to go ahead, you know, mm-hmm. do you some gotta shit. Gotta be outside for sure. Can you be a successful DJ without fucking with the new rap? What you mean, like? I did, like you know, you know how it is when you get older. You just don't fuck with that shit. Bro. I mean, like, me personally, I don't fuck with a lot of the new shit, but I play it in the club. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So how how you know what's what's the right song to play then? If you don't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's you gotta think who I'm around. Like, so a lot of songs he had put me on some shit, like. Yeah. Cause he'll hear it first Or yeah. he was there When they made it Or whatever the case may be So he'll tell me About some shit I'm like alright And I just add it So when I play it Cause I do a little set Before you come out And all that shit I play mm-hmm. it Just to get a reaction To yeah. see Like yeah. so yeah. No but you gotta stay On top of the new shit bro yeah, Cause sure. music bro That shit It'll come out today Be hot next week And yeah. forgot about The week after that yeah. So it's yeah. like You really gotta Be on top of it Cause these singles and these little TikTok songs and all of that shit, like people fuck with it and they catchy. So if they on it, they on, like yeah. he, he'll drop a remix today and then tomorrow half the world will know it. Like yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? Hell you yeah. gotta be on that type of shit. Can you have a hot boy reunion without Turk? No. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You can't. Yeah. He Turk. wasn't even sweet, but you just can't. He <laughs> a, he a original. You feel me? Like, hey, but that, I need a hot girl. He had the hardest verse on that bitch. Yeah, no. Yeah. I like him hot. The ones that don't tell me to stop. Yeah. He dick swallowed the club. Dog. Yeah. He went crazy in that but, bitch, dog. <laughs> he but, went, but, <laughs> he, you know, but it's Turk. You feel me? You just can't do that yeah. without Turk. That's why I had to become a podcaster. Turk hold me on my song, dog. You know how niggas going live? I sent the song in. They can hold my song, bro. Because this, this whole podcast started from me being a rapper. Right. And I wanted to go ahead and see. And I'm like, damn, I, if I get this, I get the features. But then I started loving this shit because I, I got a producer as a, as a family member. So I ain't got, you know what I'm saying, pay arm, you know what I'm saying, two legs and shit. So, but uh, yeah, that nigga turned hold me, dog. So it's like, all right, maybe I'll need to. cool. Rap. Everybody ain't gonna like your shit, though. Yeah, it's cool, though. But I like this shit better, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but you definitely now need Turk. Now you can hold niggas. You, de- <laughs> you definitely need Turk, though, for that good hot boy reunion, dog. Facts. You ne- Can you DJ a party without playing Bad That Ass Up? Yeah. You can? Yeah. Damn. Hell yeah. That's your go-to every time? like. Nah, man. Hell no. Nah. Damn. You got to think, man. 
Listen, bro, you got to <laughs> think, this is 2024, right? So, in a club, 21 and up, or yeah. a club, 20, 18 and up, mm. you playing back that ass up in 18 and up club? I, th- I thought they would know. No, bro. Damn. That's like floods. <laughs> like, ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, <laughs> it's just with the with the, the demographics. Yeah. Now, I definitely can get away with not playing back. I can't remember. Hell yeah, I can. Damn. Yeah. So, what? all right, give me this. What's the song that you got to play for your older crowd? What's the song that you got to play for your younger crowd? Uh, One that I play for both. Or, or one, oh, either or, either or. Um, like for the older crowd, then the one you play for the younger. All right, for the younger crowd, you got any any sexy red. I knew you was gonna say that any shit. sexy red yeah. gonna go. Yeah, any sexy red. For um, sure. boss man D'Lo gonna go. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> for the younger crowd, uh, Mellow Bucks, she going okay. that move. Uh. Glow, yeah, big glow. Big I love glow. glow. I ain't gonna lie. It's really the women though. The the females, yeah, they going right now. Not, for the older crowd, but you know, yeah. I'm still, I'm still, I'm doing for the older crowd. Still older, like older Detroit shit, like yeah. back in the day shit, like yeah. motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? Come roll with a nigga. Yeah, I go yeah. big hurt, gangsters only type shit. Hell yeah. You getting a trap bag. Like, oh, it's all type of shit. But yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, depending on where I'm at. Tell me that time that you got a nigga basically booed off from being a DJ nigga. Like you, you I've just, never been booed. You never had like a fucked up set? Deep, I've never been shit, booed. Shit, my bad. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't no, I ain't no. no I, done, I done had a, uh, I done had some times where I fucked up, but I don't Dude. think, a lot of times it's like you would notice the fuck up. Cause you know you fucked up, but yeah. it's so minor that they don't know yeah, this exactly. type shit. Yeah, yeah. that's when you so. know you a pro, nigga. This nigga so a pro. You need to be a pro in the game forever, nigga. I'm t- trying. I feel like <laughs> it, bro. It feel like it. Can you be a rapper from the city and not know who Blade is? No, I mean yeah. you can, but you gotta be young. It's exceptions to that. A young yeah. nigga, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can't be 35 talking about you from mm-hmm. Detroit and don't know who yeah. Blade is. Yeah, no, for sure. You're from Allen Park. Yeah. <laughs> Can you be a? Can you have a successful rap career if you start off in your thirties? Yeah, yeah. The right ones, yeah. yeah. Cause nowadays you got to think it ain't about age. It ain't about it's about what you talking about. It's yeah. It's really mm-hmm. about what you talking about, bro. Yeah. And if you catch it or not, like motherfucker, look at um. Never mind, but yeah, <laughs> like you, you. You can, bro. Like, you can, bro. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, man. Can you have a podcast platform without fucking with rap from the city? For your city? Um, depending on, like, yeah, depending yeah. on the, the, the dynamic of your podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You can have a sports podcast yeah. or a relationship-based podcast exactly. or some freaky-ass shit like... Yeah. Uh, um, the other part, I can't think. I ain't gonna. We ain't name dropping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can though. Yeah, like yeah. depending on the dynamic of your podcast, yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Well, as as a podcaster, would you ever like think to yourself without naming names and shit, without saying it? Like, damn, why the fuck they like ain't fucking with us as tough as that? Like, you know, what I'm saying they they should be. Because it's like it's a lot of times that I have in my show. It's been times like dog. Like early on, I was like, dog, should I still be doing this shit? But it's like you know, you doing what you supposed to be doing. Entertainment wise, as far as like with your show, but it ain't blowing up like you think it should. But then you see somebody mm-hmm. else like, mm-hmm. like, like what's the fuck? Like this shit ain't adding Definitely, up. Definitely, I see that all yeah. the time. Yeah, I see that all the time. But it's be like, like fuck it. Let's at the end on. of the day, it's like clearly it's something yeah. they doing that you ain't mm-hmm. figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Hell yeah. Now I ain't asked this shit, but though, how did the whole DJ and shit start for you, bro? Uh, I was broke. Yeah, like that's what. <laughs> like I was broke, nigga. Like. Uh, my pops he used to DJ and shit like mm-hmm. um, but when I got older you know you put it down focus on the job and yeah. all that shit so I used to always like basement like this he have his shit set up I'm, he go to work I go fuck around with it you know sneaking like kid shit mm-hmm. then shit I got to college nigga got kicked out of college yeah nigga broke I done got kicked out the career I got kicked out of college nigga I was living 
bitch to bitch for like two years straight, nigga. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it was like, man, I'm sick of this shit. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Hold on, when you living bitch to bitch, you gotta put down your your best game, nigga. You got to. <laughs> you stay like crazy, no man. You got to. You, <laughs> no, uh, honey packed up, nigga. <laughs> you got this. Is before the honey packed, nigga. This is man. You got to, bro. Like nigga, this is that's all I had to work with. Yeah. Nigga, that's all I had to offer. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> so it was gonna be. I had to do the damn thing, my nigga, for real. No cap. Like, people that know me, they know I'm not bullshitting. Like, this shit is all I had, nigga, mm -hmm. for real. But, um, nigga, then it's just like, nigga, I'm broke, nigga. Like, you feel me? I need some money. So, shit, you know, I'm an IOTA. So, when they, uh, Spooty and them was throwing parties and all that shit, mm -hmm. I'm like, nigga, let me try it. Yeah. Fuck it. First one went cool. Second one went cool. Mm -hmm. I actually finessed my way into the big, like, the, my first big icebreaker. But yeah. <clears throat> How you do that shit? Nigga, all right. So, look. Spooty, like I said, Spooty was a part of uh, this uh, party promoting team and shit. Yeah. So, they threw an icebreaker and shit. And uh, I don't know if y'all know it. It's a nigga named DJ Platinum and shit. Shout out DJ Platinum. Okay. Um, He was, like, that go-to DJ, yeah. you know? So, um... The, the venue that they bought for the icebreaker had an upstairs and a downstairs. Yeah. The upstairs was the main flow. Okay. You know, the downstairs got like the overfill and mm. all that shit. So, the, their plan was for me to uh to DJ the downstairs, like the little VIP area. Yeah, yeah, and Platinum yeah. do what he do regularly. Yeah. So, me and Platinum pull up to the venue at the same time type shit. Um... The whole time I'm asking them niggas, man, let me do upstairs, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all niggas what I really can do. For sure. Nigga. And like, no, we're going to give it, we're going to let dog do it. We, you know, no, just chill. You know, your time coming up. Man, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I ain't, man, fuck all that. So, yeah. me and Platinum pull up, boom. Nigga, they unlock the door. Everybody bring their stuff in. Yeah. He just started setting up downstairs. Mm-hmm. All right, you know me, nigga. I'm from that way. I know yeah. how to finesse some shit. I was just gonna grab something to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, came back. He done setting up music playing Is downstairs. <laughs> so shit, I come back in the room. I run upstairs, get the plug and everything. Whoop! Now the club start. Like it's probably like nine fifty right yeah. now. Like the uh, party start ten o'clock. Doors on ten o'clock. Dog, uh, dog that was, was promoting this shit with Spooty came up there like, bro, what you doing? Like. Y'all gotta switch that it out. I'm lying, man. This shit gonna take 45 minutes for me to uh, hook and all. Nigga said it took like five yeah. minutes. You feel me? Yeah. So he was like, all right, well, fuck it. Go ahead, man. Just just don't fuck it up. Like, watch out. Yeah. Rock that bitch. Turned yeah. up. Middle of the party, nigga looking up. Like, yeah, I told you, nigga. Like, let me yeah. do me. And ever since then, I was just starting doing icebreakers and icebreakers and icebreakers and all this shit. Yeah. The college scene was mine and shit. Then four it came. Yeah. Then that shit just. Pause a little bit, yeah. Like, yeah, that shit was weak as hell. <laughs> and then you got back jumping, nigga. Then it got right yeah. back jumping, man. Picked yeah, up where I left off, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Damn, so yeah, so being broke got you right here. Yeah. Dog, that's what I say. When you broke, nigga, you gonna do whatever it takes. You to got to. For real, so nigga. It's like, so you was like, I'm a little kid watching DJ Jesse Jeff and his bitch. Like, <laughs> no, not for real. Like, yeah. I know who he is. I mean, I I always like had a little uh, interest in it. Like I said, my pops did it. Like, so mm -hmm. all the family functions yeah. and all the house. Like, mm -hmm. he's down there doing that shit. So it was yeah. always fun and interesting because I always like music and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, but when I started getting into it myself, I'm like, damn, I'm low key good at yeah, this shit. Yeah, like, you sure. feel me? Oh, so yeah. I just kept it rolling. You ever see yourself being a mentor for 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 the new new generation? No, up? <laughs> I don't got the patience, bro. Yeah, yeah. Me and my homeboy was saw my nigga Limelights, man. We was just talking about this, bro. He, yeah. uh, uh, I'm like, bro, I can't do it. So many people that ask me like to be on some teaching shit. I'll fuck around and give somebody their money back. Like, yeah. I just I don't have the patience. You can't even do it, like if, even if you got teaching in class and you get paid for it. You like you ain't got patience for that shit. I I don't think I had the patience, yeah. bro. Like sometimes it don't even be about the money. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, man. Now I ask everybody this shit when they are artists top five for they to put an album together. But give me yo, if you had to put your own album together, bro, I'm gonna give you two separate top fives. Top five industry and top five local. You putting this making the band album? We talking about Diddy again? <laughs> it's that juice we drank. No, but uh, give me your OC album, top five local, top five industry. What you mean, like artists? Yep, like you be rappers, singers, producers. All right, five boom. people that's gonna make up your album locally and industry. All right, boom. Right now, if I was to drop right now, mm. and I can get five features from these artists, mm -hmm. 
Um, boss man D Love. Okay. Rob Fona. Okay. Mm, sexy red. Okay. This nigga trying to make some money. Um, <laughs> he definitely gonna make some money. Glow. Oh yeah, he he sold. <laughs> and I need one more industry. Um, Honcho. All right. All right. Hell yeah. Now what about uh, locally? The gang. You know, I'm going all with the gang, yeah. man. I'm gonna do Skiller. Okay. I'm gonna do Sada. All right. Curse Dollar. Yep. Um. Baby Money. All right. And Tay B. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hey, uh, Skiller, uh, all y'all niggas, dog. Why? Why? I hate you too, cuz. Uh, I know you, his, produ- his head manager, shit. I hate all y'all niggas, up, dog. I don't keep doing it until y'all niggas. <laughs> I ain't stopping. It can't stop. won't stop. <laughs> oh, hey, he can't drink no more of this Christmas <laughs> shit, man. Nigga, for sure. He talking right. about can't stop, won't stop. Oh, my. it's been Diddy oh, bars God. all yeah, yeah. day. <laughs> now, on the podcast shit, your five w- wish list guests locally that y'all didn't have because y'all had some people mm-hmm. and in the industry um, who can interview locally five industry five locally that y'all didn't have on the show locally I want to put Cash Dog back on there yeah so y'all can really get yeah, yeah, so, really we can really, yeah so we can do the little double team shit yeah, um, yeah. not like that you know I'm just saying <laughs> like, so we you know get the no, full sure. meet the connected see, see, uh, <laughs> locally Cash Dog sure. um I want to do an interview with school. Okay. I definitely want to do an interview with school. Hell yeah. I want to do an interview. I'm, I'm a, I mean, I'm going to drop the skill of the interview. I just don't know when. For sure. Um, see, oh, I'm a uh, payroll. Yeah. That nigga seems like the type of nigga that's reserved. Hey, like, he's, he's, just, he's just like, he got a lot of shit yeah, to talk he's about. He's so laid bro. back, but I think niggas ain't really asked the right questions, though. Like, What's that? Three. Um, Viz. For sure, hell yeah. Viz. And damn, number five, number five. Hmm, peasy. Okay, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Peasy, that'd be my five local. And yeah. industry wise, if yeah. I could get fifty, I want to. Yeah. I want to talk to fifty hell on yeah. the uh, no, podcast. For sure. Hell yeah. Um, Dirk. All right. I want to talk to Dirk. Cause these niggas that don't do a lot of interviews yeah, though. Yeah. Fifty dirt. Um. Pluto. Okay. Definitely got it. Uh. Sexy red. All right. I man, I I met her, but I ain't had the chance to yeah. like sit down and yeah, chop it in, with yeah. her for. Um. And y'all Miami. Carisha yeah. got some shit to talk about. <laughs> hell yeah. I know Carisha got some shit to talk hell about. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. So if y'all if y'all start up the podcast back tomorrow, who's the first guest you you want to have on the motherfucking show? I don't know. I don't, matter of fact, the first one back just might be me and dog. Y'all got a lot to talk about. Yeah, it might just be me and bro. Hell like, yeah, y'all got a lot of shit to talk about. Me and Spooty go hold it down. Yeah. Now, now put the, 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 Podcast y'all was using studio focus like everything straight with him like y'all been t- keeping up with him yeah 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 because yeah. like I guess I know that shit gotta stage. be some, yeah dog and that shit gotta be hard like something that you built nigga that you had pictures podcast mm-hmm. studio for nigga just to do that shit dog like yeah, shout we out to folks there, we, yeah we went over there and helped them clean up and yeah. all that shit but he just in the rebuild in like, yeah. the rebuilding stats yeah man hell yeah. shout out to focus bro shout out to focus man. hell yeah hell yeah dog what's some shit you want to leave people with dog as far as like motivational shit some shit niggas going through some shit fuck what that next nigga gotta say man mm-hmm. that like if i if y'all don't take anything from this interview just take this part bro fuck what everybody else talking about bro mm-hmm. if you want to do something and you feel like you can do it do it bro because mm-hmm. you always rather be a nigga that say i tried than a nigga that say i wish i tried for sure hell yeah now y'all got more money me i was thinking about that 515 shit i don't know if i can match y'all money wise but <laughs> Oh my God! He <laughs> like, just went right back to that. <laughs> like y'all need some got big time rapper, big time uh, motherfucker DJ in this bitch. And shit. That's cool. Listen, it's, I'm listen, just a regular bro. nigga, dog. Go get some niggas. We put look. We put. We do what? 
two fifty a person times mm-hmm. five. What's that? Twenty five hundred for sure. Hell yeah. Wait, is it? I don't want to. Somebody did Two fifty. No, four people is a thousand. Yeah, yeah, it's a fifteen. Damn, nigga, you talking about? Yeah, man. No, you got me on here looking crazy. You know, two twelve fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, see, it's, yeah. yeah. That's what I meant. I had twelve fifty. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We can do twelve fifty, man. Hell yeah. You feel me? I get. I, get, I try to get me a little five together and shit. Yeah, yeah two fifty a person. Man. Coach shot and shit in this bitch, dog. We you know definitely. We look. Like, I'm telling you, I put a five yeah. up. Ooh, we're here to get back. Be- before, it, uh, I don't know, though. I got some good fives. Oh, huh, you going Yeah, I got a good five. I got a good five, niggas. Not include me, but I got a good five, niggas. And we, and, and I get some high school niggas. Since you, you said you over there at General Rose. Huh? Yeah, you gotta get some girls, though. I coach the girls. Oh, you coach the girls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta get five girls. <laughs> KB got five, yeah. KB got five girls. <laughs> Hell yeah, we can get that shit popping off. Hell yeah, a little all star game in this bitch. Yeah, shit, we definitely dog. can do that. I see who I'm working with and shit, dog. What what's some shit? This is my last question, dog. As far as the podcast, what was some shit did y'all have planned before things ended, dog? Did you can talk um, about? We had well, it's still going on. It's just pushed back. Uh, a Meet the Connect compilation. Mm-hmm. Um, that's coming. Um, more ciphers. We was planning on more ciphers coming. Mm-hmm. Um, and really just trying to get. Uh, different guests like I know we had a lot of artists but we was wanted to like broaden the net though yeah. like um, from we had um, a few social media influencers mm-hmm. we had some radio personalities um, on standby uh, we had um, uh, a couple actors too okay. like um, some 2B stars yeah, and shit. For sure, so for sure. we had some shit in the mix who's the bad shit y'all had on the show man top three man <laughs> Coldest, yeah. Uh, Rocky, yeah. I was so hard to focus on the Rocky episode, <laughs> dog. The outfit she had on, I was like, damn. Yeah, yeah, I remember that shit. Damn. I wa- yeah, I watched it with hate. Um, I, need- <laughs> I needed some motherfucking black glasses on that day. Uh, yeah. Rocky, Taylor Made. Okay. Taylor Made, she ain't the DJ. Is she? No, 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 no. I'm talking about somebody else. I'm talking about, I know. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. And, about- um. We had the body on our shit too. Yeah. Like, yeah. she hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about frames, nigga? Oh my god, man! Uh, it's hard being a podcaster. Like I said, I'm a married ass nigga, dog. But you know, you gotta, you know, what no, it's somebody respect. else, bro. Respect, my somebody else that just was like fire. Rocky Taylor made the body. I could put Lee on there. Okay, for sure. Hell yeah. Be on there. Yeah, she she because like I said, that's when I found out she had some bars looking. Oh, Doran and Daisy too though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. I don't know what happened, but shout out to y'all. Yeah, you know shout out to y'all for sure. Freshman class, you know, what I'm saying we did a bit. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, for real. No, I appreciate you coming on this motherfucker. Dog. I appreciate you for having me, my nigga. I know you supposed to do this shit, man. Wow, some it, shit it's happened. been my fucker too, man. No, it's cool. We it's supposed to do this shit what two, three, four weeks ago. Yeah, man, man. it's all good though. See, you a busy nigga, dog. Man, and being I'm busy is the best thing, nigga. Shit, at least you ain't at the crib chilling. Man, you know and that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, Especially yeah. drinking this shit right here. Yeah, that motherfucker frisky. But it's episode two hundred eight. Shout out to everybody, man, with DJ OC out of control. Yeah, the wild boy of the city. For sure, man. Hey, you coming back, dog. Meet the connect coming back, dog. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Let me come back by myself, dog. We all do it. Oh, we definitely gonna put that together. <laughs> On the, sure. on the rebuild, you definitely yeah. coming back by yourself, bro. Hell yeah, man. But you already know, man. Shout out to everybody. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share and shit, man. You already know what it is, man. Best podcast in the city. If you think different, man, fuck you. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shout out to everybody.